Hey, welcome to today's video. Um, in this video, it will be a continuation to the Angular Material Autocomplete with the API tutorial. So, they were implemented. Uh, we saw how to use an Angular Material Autocomplete where we were fetching the data using an API. Here, we will be implementing the search functionality using an Autocomplete. So, I will just show you a demo what we are going to implement here. So, as you can see here, like uh, this is what we did in the last tutorial. So as you can see, while clicking on this uh, drop down, you'll, you'll be able to see all the data, uh, whatever were there, or like whatever data was fetching from the API. And when you click down inside, you are able to see the data. So here, um, what will happen is, it doesn't give you the feel of a search, and the data comes like the data is already loaded, and then you are searching through that data. So in this video, we see how do you implement a search uh, autocomplete here. So here, the data doesn't load when you click on that particular dropdown, like in the input box. So data loads once you type in. So like if I type in ERV, it shows the data Erwin. If I type in like um, MRS, the data shows up. So let's get started. So we'll start by cloning the code from the from our last uh, tutorial. I have shared the link in my in the in the video description below. So once you have cloned the data. We'll just uh, run the existing code here. So there you have your application. So now, as you can see, the data is loaded on default here. So you have all the data in the drop down once you click on it. So we first need to disable that thing. So as you can go to the code, the filtered option is the data that's we are, that we are using to bind the data. And in and get names, um, we are setting the data whatever we are fetching. So we don't need this thing, so I'll just remove that thing. So now by default, it won't show any data. So refresh this thing, you click on it. No data when you click on this thing. Now when the user types in certain data, so we are checking it here, now where we are using the value change event to subscribe to that particular thing. We get the response like whatever the, the user is filling in. Now, based on that, you should be able to get the data. If you type in Erwin, you can see that Erwin is typing in, right? But on removing this thing, it still show, shows the ball of data. So, what we can do is uh, we can check if the response is there uh, and response has some length. We'll call this filter. Else we'll set the filtered options as empty. <laughs> now this should work. Ruben shows the data. Leanne L A works. Okay, now the, well, there's one issue with this thing that the requests are being hit like whenever we press a particular key. So when a person types in certain keyword, if you see, if you, if you add a console log here, console log dot enter data is and response. Now if you check, you can see what's happening here. Now every time you press a key, the call goes through. So let's say if I'm typing in, I'm searching for Erwin. So like, so the expected keyword is like I type in ERV and then the search goes through. So it searches for like every keyword. If I press E, the call goes through. For ER also the call goes, then for V also the call goes. So we don't want to go on like each key press. So we have something called uh, debounce time. It helps us to wait a certain seconds before uh, hitting through this particular section like before filtering the data so we can add something called uh, debounce here what you can do here is you can just pipe it in something called debounce debounce time now this debounce time you can add in milliseconds like seconds uh, so like this is three like i'll add in like thousand milliseconds here before the call hits in so it waits for like a one second before going to this particular section. So if you load the application again, you clear the console if you see. I type in E, R, V. And then it goes in, right? So now the call doesn't go every time I type a key. It waits for a second, a second, and then the call goes through. 
right there if i go for like some other data test no result is there te no results are there t results are there if i go for like kur curtis if i go for like vei one single call vei and we have the data so i hope you find this video useful uh, do let me know your thoughts in the comments below thanks for watching